So what are you finding are the biggest challenges that you're seeing uh, when you're dealing with young people? Yeah, man, that's such a good question. Um, to be honest, I feel like I'm still trying to, you know, figure that out. Yeah. Uh, there's this uh, uh, um, this guy that does apologetics, and he's also a poet. His name is Preston Perry. Okay. Um, yeah, he has this quote. I um, might butcher it a little bit, but he's he's like the the better questions that you ask someone or or do, the more you ask like good questions, the better you'll know like how to serve someone. Okay. Um, so I feel like I'm still trying to learn how to ask youth, especially once I'm serving like just good questions. So I know how to serve them better. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel like, uh, Oh, were you about to say something? Well, no, yeah, go for it. Something came to my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. When, yes, sir. As you mentioned that. Yeah. And that is this, what's better with youth? Telling them what they need to know or or listening first, because that's what you just brought up. You're asking questions. I think a lot of youth feel that nobody sees them. For sure. Nobody understands Absolutely. them. Everyone yeah. just assumes. You know, so so are you finding then by asking questions that maybe they're even shocked that you even want to know? Mm -hmm. No, I'm definitely whenever I'm around youth, I I'm I want to listen more. <laughs> then I talk, you know, obviously, when, so I teach kids music. So definitely I'm, I'm always, you know, instructing and stuff, but you know, I want to know what they're into. I want to know, um, what they're not into. I want to know what they think is cool, what they think is not cool, what they think is for them, not for them. Just, yeah, I'm definitely right. in the seat of listening so I can then figure out, yeah, what's the best way to serve them? What's the best way to communicate God's, you know, love for them. Um, sure. but yeah, no, I, I agree. I feel like, uh, Three things that I'm, I'm always trying to feel, like if, if they were cups, that I'm always trying to feel is like I want kids to feel known, seen, and loved. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm, every time I, I'm walking away, whether it's talking to a student or, or I'm with a group of students and I'm, I'm on my way home, I'm, I'm like, yeah, did they feel known today? Did they feel seen? Did they, did they feel loved? Um, but yeah, again, I don't know if I'm answering your question. That you are. Crazy. Yeah, you yeah. are. In <laughs> fact, let me relate it to something, and sure. maybe you've had it. Um, a couple of years ago, like, like I told you earlier, I, I coach girls basketball. So mm -hmm. there were, there were girls that came into the gym for the first time. It was this pair of sisters. Okay. And the one, she seemed kind of just a little confused, wasn't quite getting it. And for some reason I had this sense, I mean, I didn't care really whether she was a fantastic basketball player. She really wasn't. She didn't know what she was doing. Sure. Sure. But I had this sense that the way I needed to help her and the way I needed to be understanding was going to make or break whether she ever showed up again. Mm, right, right. And for some reason right. in my mind, it was like, she needs to show up again. Yes, sir. So do you get that sometimes where it's like, okay, it's not so much the content of what's going on here. It's that I need to build trust. I need to show that, hey, I actually, you can act, I'm not going to, make you feel uncomfortable is actually, you know what I'm saying? No, 1,000%. <laughs> no, I, I, I tell my volunteers all the time, you know, uh, if, a, if a student shows up, you know, to receive uh, guitar lessons, and most of that time was just them just talking about their day at school or the week mm -hmm. or something, like that is a win in my book. Like sure. I, don't even, I don't even care like if they learn guitar that day. Uh, so no, I, I, that, that's so huge. I mean... I mean, if I'm being frank with you, the only reason why I'm sitting in the seat is because, you know, my favorite fourth grade teacher invested in me. Mm -hmm. I had coaches, that, my favorite English teachers, track coaches. Like, right. like it takes a village, you know. I'm, I'm not sure where I would be if these other people didn't take extra time, interest, maybe intentionality in their posture, how they communicate to me opposed to someone else, you know. Sure. So, no, I agree that, uh, that yeah, when it comes to students uh, – I think it's really important for me for them to acknowledge and see, oh, there's people outside of my parents yeah. that really care about me, that really see me. Um, I can identify this place as a, as a safe place or, or, there, or this person as a safe place, you know? I'm yeah. not encouraging anyone to do this, but I, <laughs> I've definitely have, like skipped classes and have stayed behind and, you know, talk with teachers and stuff like that. Right. Um, because I've seen them, yeah, as, as a safe place. And these are people that have, have encouraged my faith, my walk with God, uh, how I see the world and stuff like that. So anyway, yeah. It's yeah. important to find those people. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, they're, they're, 
I, I had a time recently where I, believe it or not, got to reconnect with my kindergarten teacher. Mm. I thought she had probably been dead for like 20 years. You sure, know? sure. Because she seemed so old to me. Yeah. Uh, and it turns out when I met back up with her, she was actually 90 years old. But um, but yeah, I always remembered her. Mm. And I remembered her from a day when I was supposed to put a puzzle away that I was working on and she asked me twice. Mm -hmm. And then she asked me a third time and she took it away and I started crying. Mm. You know, and I was totally in the wrong. Mm. This is kindergarten, I'm five years old. Yeah, no, sure, sure. You know, but she hugged me at that point and, and just I could tell she wasn't angry. She cared that I had my, my feelings were hurt. Yeah. I always remembered her as my favorite teacher, mm. even though I had so many after that. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just because of that caring and connection. That's awesome. 